This weekend we are recontrolling Little Haven level crossing back to Three Bridges Panel 7, which Parsons Road will follow on the following weekend. Parsons Road and Little Haven is one of the top three risks of network rail within the southern portfolio. Since we've taken this on and we've commissioned it, we have improved it by a factor of 18 times in terms of safety risk according to the data provided by Network Rail, which is a fantastic achievement for the team. We're upgrading Parsonage Road level crossing from an automatic half barrier crossing to a manually controlled crossing with CCTV. So that's going to involve new barrier bases, machines and booms, new road traffic lights, the replacement of the CCTV system and new road markings, as well as new lighting and anti-trespass guard. And Little Haven crossing is being recontrolled from Little Haven box to Three Bridges ASC. So Atkins and Network Rail have had to work together very closely across the level crossing portfolio. That's to manage a lot of our stakeholder expectations and also closely work together to make sure that we're delivering what our client needs. One of the key items in putting passengers first is obviously to manage expectations of the public and deliver for them and our customers. In terms of getting the main objectives, that is really key that we work together closely, but we're making good strides in terms of that. We've been building a relationship with not just our client Network Rail, but with the supply chain as well. We've been working hand in hand with them on a daily, weekly, monthly basis and embedding ourselves in their team and vice versa to build that relationship, to build that trust so that we could support each other and deliver the project as one collective team. Awesome is as part of the Parsonage and Little Haven level crossing upgrades, delivering control system, hardware systems and software data updates for the project. The Parsonage and Lillehaven level crossing upgrades are very high profile jobs for Network Rail. It's been a pleasure to be working on these, upgrading, installing our equipment to run these level crossings safely, which will in effect help the public to use them safely. So there's been a number of challenges as part of this delivery. We've had some supply chain issues in terms of materials, which hasn't helped with the global situation. We are looking to develop that and work together with supply chain colleagues and collectively to deliver as a lessons learned exercise, which we will develop and issue out to the wider team and also to the wider industry as a whole. I would like to thank all my colleagues here in GTC and in UK. A special mention to our CRE, CEM, and uh, the project management team, uh, commercials. Also, uh, the colleagues in Network Rail, uh, Alstom, DigiSeq, and OSL. I think uh, it was a fantastic collaborative work which we are seeing in the ground now. I'd like to say thank you to everybody, to our client, Network Rail, to our supplier chain who've been fantastic on this project, and, and also to the local community. We've disturbed them whilst we're doing the work, but hopefully they can see the product of what we've achieved, and hopefully we can continue building the relationship with both our supply chain and with our client going forward on, on future projects.